end. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Damn. We have some questions from people. Do, okay. do you want to talk a little bit more freestyle or do you yeah. want to start? No, let's do, questions. The community? let's do questions. Because, you know, one of the first questions is, hey, um, are you guys engaging with the open source community? How is how is your Linux support going to be for this card? Well, I can tell you that our, our Linux support is going to be great. We already have an open driver for Linux, right? So it's it's we're not in the same position as some of the other companies that have a little bit of schizophrenic relationship. Uh, we are open source <laughs> oriented, right? Now, can I remind you yes. guys um, his employment history? He formerly worked for a, a green company. It doesn't matter. It's not has, about that. <laughs> he doesn't have, but he doesn't have any insider knowledge. He was actually the receptionist. So it was. I don't want yeah. it to seem like he's throwing shade. I'm anyone. not throwing shade on anybody. I I'm just, just saying wanna, that we are very open. I want to get that out there. Thank you. Thank you, yes, Linus. Yes, We're yes. very open. And uh, so our Linux community, uh, I think most of them realize that we do open standards. Like if you think open standards, you should start thinking, where did these come from? Well, a lot of them came from Intel. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, Intel wasn't going to go and embrace a closed standard like G-Sync, for example. Oh. Great technology. Great technology. Personally a fan. But Intel, they're going to wait for Adaptive Sync, Oops, obviously, sorry. right? Yes. Well, you know my, my history about that. So I'm very excited to say that we do support Adaptive Sync. And we also have a couple other really cool sync modes like uh, Smooth Sync and another thing that we're calling, what's the last one called? Smooth Sync, Fast Sync. So all okay, of Okay, what's the difference? <laughs> no, I don't is think that's fast right. Oh, it's not Fast, fast Sync. It's Smooth Sync. Is Fast Sync kind of, or whatever it is. Yeah. The last one, is it like a, like a reflex competitor? Like a, no, no, no. It's actually like really cool. It's like or... when, you have, when you have tearing, like when you're running really fast, you're yeah. going to tear. This mode actually blends the two frames. So think of it, it works with all monitors, but what we're doing is we're saying, oh. we can't get rid of tearing, but we can actually make that transition less jarring. That's now, do pretty I sweet get, for certain so, games that are just so going to It works all the well. time. Yeah. So I get yeah. the latency yeah. advantage of not having any kind of sync. Yes. But I, I'm assuming that would rely on the machine learning hardware. No, 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 no. It's just a traditional blend. So think of it, it's in our display logic. So on, as we're scanning out lines, uh -huh. we kind of know when a new frame shows up. Smooth right. smooth sync, by Smooth the way, sync, thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Smooth sync. Okay. So that's features available. It works with all games because it's in our display hardware. Right. And, and it's it's vendor neutral. And it you know it's going to work on all ARC. It's pretty cool. That is actually super cool. We okay. have a video for you. Maybe we could give it. You could you know, cut it in if you want. It's pretty cool. Now, I would like to hear from you guys if you have any other questions. This is going to be the one and only opportunity to chat with these guys live about this here. Well, it may not be Although the only. I know that you this guys are This could be my on... last employment day here, right? <laughs> that's we, don't, true. we don't know how yeah, that's going to go. Actually, yeah. I take it back. Yeah, yeah it, it could, could, could be well the last. Be. This is it. Could very well be. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, uh, a crane, I don't think they're going to be able to answer that, answer that yeah, question. Yeah, I mean, like, hey, what day is it going to be available? Yeah. And how, okay. how much is it going to we're cost? Not gonna, we're not going to answer we're, price. We're not going to answer yeah. specifics on performance. And we're not going to talk of specifics on a date. A crane wants to know if there will be a 900 trim or a 700 is the highest. Can you address that? I can it's say, okay yeah. If you can. Right now, we have a three family, a five family, and a seven, seven family. And that's where our plan ends right now. Now, whether someday we change that, maybe, you know, we always we always think into things. And I know Intel added a nine uh, yeah, to that CPU. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But right now, no plan. We have enough names. We got products to fill it. And that's plenty. <laughs> well, the way I think of it, Intel restored the nine because we all knew there was supposed to be a Core i9 many years before they finally gave us the only like marginally upgraded Core i9. Wasn't Core i9 supposed to be the branding for the original HEDT? 1366. It, I can't. Was I can't it not? Remember. It was. Was it seven? It was seven. It was seven. Core i7 was seven. Yeah. With so an X. it was really confusing yeah. because you had Core yeah. i7s on the consumer platform, and then you had Core i7s on the HEDT platform, and it stayed like that for very confusing years. Very confusing. You know, so you know, will we have a nine? Maybe. You know, we'll we'll see as the products go. But I, depends I think, if you can make something nine worthy. I think, no. Well, I think, like, I think oh, it comes do. down to Ouch. like God, we've got. Yeah. I think the naming structure you've come up with is actually super useful because it it doesn't elicit direct comparisons really like to it. the competition. Yeah. yeah. Right? right. A the A series means alchemist. Next generation will be B. It'll be battle mage. And then you've got okay. the three five seven. And then you can use any of the numbers after that for your performance. Can differentiation. I please respectfully request something? Of course. Do you guys have influence within the arc business unit? Oh uh, yes. No, not so yeah. much. Yeah. No, okay. we definitely do. Yes, but, but does he yeah. though? He definitely does. He does. He okay. and I are buddies. Okay. We're like connected. Okay. Okay. Until one of you is fired. <laughs> well, if or I get both. fired, then okay. then he is going <laughs> to okay. be the man. <laughs> Can you guys stick to your guns? Keep the naming scheme sensible. Yes. Make it so that it's really as, good right now. As yeah. media, 
And as a consumer, because you guys actually did do a great job of that. Yeah. Intel, <laughs> even it, like Intel does not always do a great job. Nvidia and AMD many times have seemingly intentionally obfuscated the meaning of their of their model numbers. We've seen rebrands. We've seen reuse of the same numbers, which from a consumer standpoint is a nightmare because if you're going and you're troubleshooting something and you search for, I'm trying to think of, you search for AMD 6800. I was thinking they about have it. CPUs, oh, yes, yes, yes. They have GPUs. Uh, NVIDIA has actually reused uh, what man? What was it that they? Ah, uh, there's Ooh. definitely stuff they've reused. There's there's numbers that have been used by both AMD and Nvidia. So if you search for 480. Like this oh, game, yes, 480. Th yeah, four eighty, two eighty, yes, two eighty, four eighty, two eighty, four eighty. These are both great examples. So what I would respectfully request is that you guys stick to your guns. Three, five, seven is your tiers. The letter is your family. I don't yeah. care if this particular letter, if J isn't that cool, okay? If 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 Jelly I like J. If Arc Arc J seven seventy looks looks I like, like <laughs> looks like some kind of swear word in some kind of Cyrillic <laughs> script in Sanskrit or something. Like, please for okay. for for consumers, it's, stick to your guns. But it's, but it's not just for consumers, right? It's like also for my sanity yeah. as well. Yes, right. So, I would like uh, to mess with his sanity, but we won't. Okay, we okay. will not. I have a I have a question that I'm gonna I'm gonna merge kind of a question for myself and a question from the audience. They are asking about. Um, you, you mentioned earlier this is exclusive. This it's limited edition. Limited yeah. edition. Yes. Okay, so uh, a certain other company that may not be named uh, sells certain limited edition stuff, maybe like just through Best Buy or whatever else. Is this directly? Is this limited edition directly from you guys, or or scheme. how is? I, yeah. I would expect that to show up in multiple channels in the U.S. and worldwide. Intel's okay. distribution is. I could even answer that question. Yes. The well, way Intel's distribution works is it'll go through DSD, and then there's multiple people. Yeah. And then whether whether there's an exclusive arrangement or not, DSD is going to send a bunch of them out the back door to mom and pop shops anyway. It's so. all going to work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even if Intel wanted this to be Best Buy exclusive, I pretty much promise you it wouldn't be. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's not. A, that's I think, not our no. intent. I think no. people really like the look of that because I'm getting a lot of questions that are basically like, can I get this? Yes. Oh, uh, so, can, you, can you grab it? Can you pick it up again for a second, Shroud? Is that still framed for his hands? No, it's, it's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'll just, I'll hold it and explain it. So the way they did the RGB on this is actually super classy. Uh, the top bar, oh, are you going to, are you going to uh, fire it over to me? Oh, cool. How nice is that? Whoops, wrong one. Whoops, wrong uh, one. Uh, uh, whoops, uh, whoops. Get hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're time to charm. Uh, the way they did it is actually super classy, and I'm not just shilling. I'm not being paid to tell you this. Not today, anyway. I expect payment tomorrow. Um, there's, <laughs> no. a, there's a nicely diffused RGB light bar along the top. The Intel Arc logo right here is also lit. And then it's really subtle the way they've done it with the fans from the front you actually wouldn't know so if you've got a case that has a vertical gpu mount this thing is going to look absolutely sick it will because the rgb is diffused and it's recessed so it's around the outside of the fan and they could have gone tacky they could have absolutely There's done like too. um a translucent fan blade mm -hmm. or something along those lines they decided not to they kept it classy and i think it looks absolutely hey. awesome thank you 